Hello, my name is Anna Elwood. And this is Brandon McMillan. We are um, ensemble members from Dual Theatre. And we had the great fortune of visiting the Burr and Burton Academy in Manchester, Vermont. And um, we were able to be a part of their theatre symposium. process is to just let everyone know what we're doing, let them know that we exist, let them know what our mission is, to really try and connect with as many people as possible to start building relationships. And a part of that um, is having a Facebook fan page, um, these webisodes that we create, and we also have a newsletter. Um, our second one will be coming out fairly soon, but I don't think we really want to keep spamming people, so we do it only when we really have something to say. Um, and we sent out our first newsletter. And we were lucky enough that Anna's old high school music teacher um, saw what we were doing and decided to invite us up to the Burn Burton Academy, where he's now the artistic director, I guess would be? What he's the uh, director of the performing arts We department. finally got on the road. Anna trucked her way over to... The Journal Square Path Station after teaching a class and um, we got on the road and four hours later we arrived in Manchester, Vermont. Um, Neil is, is, has so much experience with nonprofits and um, he does his own grant writing which is really incredible and here's a really good example of the success of that. It's an entire um, audio studio um, at the Academy that is funded from a grant that he got and they have god what are there five there six i think they had about 12 12 to 15 yeah um imax with these keyboards which is unheard of in in a high school um and he says that when he first arrived there they had some they, they didn't even have music stands. bass drum in the closet and yeah. an old tuba i think yeah and <laughs> what he's done is just remarkable and he's a really great inspiration to us uh, one of the three other artists that we met was Robin Lee, who has just finished her first book. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon.com. It's called In the Moment. Um, she was she worked really well with these high school students. It's a challenge to really introduce theater to these kids and to, to get them to distinguish between good and bad acting and really how to buckle down and kind of become an adult when it comes to the seriousness and, and the reality of theater. And... How to create that reality on stage. She did a lot with opening the kids up. And our workshop, um, we really wanted them to understand the idea of working off the other. To create a believable reality on stage, um, you have to be able to, like Robin's book, live in the moment. And really, how do you live in the moment? Well, you see what's going on with the person in front of you. And if you're responding to whatever's happening with them, then that's reality. That's kind of what we do unconsciously all the time. And we first started off with just something very basic. Every act, every action has an opposite or equal reaction. Um, so we took a ball and just started tossing it around in a circle. As you, we had them all just get in a circle. We played silent ball. They couldn't talk. They couldn't make a sound. They couldn't laugh. A cough is okay, but anything at all, you're out. And if you don't catch the ball, you're out. And a lot of them you know, the goal was to win the game, and it was funny, as as the game continued, we started people throwing the ball faster and slower and, and up high and through their legs, and then it, you finally got people to get creative, and they threw the ball at some guy's shins. There was only like four people left, and uh, the guy got out, and after we finished, he said, that's not fair, he threw it at my shins, and I said, well, if you, you know, you did, why didn't you grow hands out of your shins? Yeah, right. <laughs> and he looked at me, and I said, well, you know, you got to be ready for anything. If you're truly working off of the other person, you have to be ready no matter what. And if that means you got to be down low ready to catch the ball, and which is lowering your stance, and therefore you have minimalized the, uh, the area which the person can throw, I mean, there you go. You've solved the problem. So if you're really working off the other person, so we started off very basic, 
And then we went into what um, we call the provocative question. The provocative question. <laughs> Sounds worse than it is. Yes. Um, so the oh, the whole idea is to um, you you look for spontaneity on stage and you don't want people to really get into their heads too much. Um, so what we had them do, well, what we first did was we wrote these questions down um, that we thought were kind of provocative for a high schooler, but not too provocative. <laughs> so these questions that they wouldn't know until um, it was picked from a hat and and asked to them. And then they had to respond to that question truthfully and honestly by repeating it back. So this in the first person. In the first person. So this gets them away from, oh well, what do I say or what do I do? The game or the activity was very clear. There's a question, and then the other person just repeats the question back. And what you find is that there's something deeper within Jeez. that. And they picked up on it so so much better than I could, ever could have imagined. Um, they were um, observant. They were intuitive. They were intelligent. They were well spoken when they were responding to what they were seeing. Um, it was just it was so much fun. And, it was especially and, as being of the third workshop of the day. I mean, they got a lot thrown at them in the last couple hours of the day. And to be able to stay attentive and focused showed a lot of. Um, discipline and, and just in, in intrigue in these students and what they really wanted to learn, which is cool. And it's a real testament to the program mm -hmm. and to um, Jim Raposa, who um, run the drama portion of, of the performing arts. We got a chance to watch their um, little eight to ten minute pieces that they did one act festival. There was seven of them total. Was it six? Seven. Seven of them total. All student directed, student acted. It was decided that Anna, myself, and Ben um, Scuria, we we're going to work on two of the student written pieces and then a third one, and we were going to just round robin between the three of us, which gave us an hour and a half with each play, which is fantastic. So the next day we met up with the students first thing in the morning. We started working just straight through the day. Um, seeing their pieces, taking the notes that we talked about the night before, applying them, and they soaked it all up. They were the never-ending sponge. They just kept sucking it all up. And um, they spent the day rehearsing their pieces with a whole bunch of different people, different artists. Um, and then that night they had a public performance. And the performance was packed. Apparently, every performance they do is always packed, which is really wonderful. Great for the support kids. by the community and their yeah. parents and everybody there. And um, and it was very successful. Very successful. They all the shows had a great turnaround. Yep, yeah, and uh, it was a marathon weekend, and they pulled through all the way to the end. And it was really exciting to have a small part in that. This is right before they performed. You could really see the excitement on their faces, the um, the joy. Um, it was a tough weekend, I think, for them. It would have been tough for me at that yeah, age. Yeah, absolutely. But they they just they just kept going. Um, Very proud of these kids, and um, it was a great it was a great venture for dual theater. Yeah, really ju great jumping off point for us. Absolutely. In, in creating our LEARN initiative, our desire to uh, create workshops and um, classes um, on the technique that we use and to also enrich students or any individual who has an interest in, in the arts and has an interest in challenging themselves and um, challenging the world to really open up to social responsibility. Um, and we're really excited about it, and we're really thankful. Very thankful. So thank you, Burr and Burton. We had an amazing weekend.